All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I'm from OML Embroidery. And over there, hopefully fixing the audio or getting the audio to work or not messing it up is Don. It's all good. Hello. Uh, okay. So we're going to do some freestanding lace today. And I thought I'd show you guys what I have been up to. So I'm testing the borders of lace. Look at this bunny. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? So I did it in black because I had black bobbin, but I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty sheer. And it, him. it turned out well. He's actually quite sturdy. I'm surprised. Um, but I love it. I love it. I've been having so much fun. So, um, yeah, that's one. And then this is my dragonfly, my gilded dragonfly isn't he pretty he looks better maybe on here so i use there's one color change so i use gold metallic so isn't that cool and then back to the um i like these guys back to the fillet crochet freestanding lace now that's a machine error not a digitizing error and i love this so just some flowers on it and here's one that I did. I had troubles with it because I was having troubles with my machine, but again, testing with open spaces. Isn't that cool? And you can't really see them. I'm going to make them bigger, but there's little dots in there. Um, isn't that cool? I love it. I love Can you use them. some organza with this FSL? Yep, sure can. I haven't. This is another one of my favorites, the yellow one. I just I love it. Like yeah, I just love the flowers. So we're getting them to the testers, getting getting it done, and we'll get it out to you guys. What else do I have? Oh, yeah, my skulls. I love them. I use my lace basket for all my goodies. Um, this one you guys have seen, which is awesome. And then we have the uh, flamingo which I also like. So there's bookmarks or you can do more than one and uh, use a little zigzag stitch on them to sew them together. Same with the skulls. So you could make kind of like a banner. But these are the two newest and I have lots more coming. And I love how they turned out. I love especially the uh, the um, bunny, this bunny. You know me as Craig and the bunny. My... No. Gnome bowl. Oh. Oh, it's hanging, it's over. hanging over. Oh, there we go. So that's the talk for today. This my progress. And I'm gonna show you. We have freestanding lace to stitch today. And I thought of something kind of cool. So this I'm gonna stitch the back and the front on one hoop. And I quickly sewed them together. I'll take the white off. I quickly sewed them together and left an opening. How cute is that? So it becomes a pencil topper. And how about this at your table? Isn't that cute? Don said, oh, kids, kids will love that. And I said, heck, I would love that. Wouldn't that be a groovy table setting? Oh, I think it's awesome. So you could sit, you'd stitch three at a time. Um, I wouldn't do any more because you don't want to pull too much on anything. Um, and these three and a four by four hoop. And then we're going to sew them together. So I experimented a little bit with the sewing. And you can't really see it on this camera, but I'll show you. I did a zigzag and I did a regular stitch. And the zigzag is pretty much invisible, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I didn't particularly sew, like I didn't go down in here. I just went up and a little bit around and then started on this side. So it literally, it was a bit, a little bit tricky. I haven't washed out the uh, WSS either, but I'm kind of liking the look. So how cute is that? That's what we're going to be doing today. 
And of course, in true Sue fashion, I'm going to kick it up a notch and I am going to do it in pink metallic thread. Ooh. And, and you guys ready for this? I wound a bobbin for the first time pink metallic thread? with pink metallic thread. Good so uh, someone was asking about Captain Jack. Captain Jack is fine. I want to show you guys the problem. I buy pre, pre-wound bobbins and this one's really out, but you, you have to look at them before you um, use them. You so, show up better on one of the other cameras if you want to. Yeah, I want everyone to see it, so use the uh, face cam. Hopefully. No, not with the black screen behind it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so that's a close-up view. Now, can you see what's wrong with this bobbin? I do, I do. Yeah, do you see how it's all, it's not wound properly. It's all kind of bowed out around the side of it. And that is one issue that was causing me so much grief. Um, a couple of them, like three, weren't wound properly. So they're not necessarily, you know, this bad, um, but one, I don't know if it had a piece of thread over it or something like that, but that was causing all my grief. So make sure you check it out. Now, another thing I'm going to point out that the Luminaire 2 comes already loaded with, this is the bobbin case, right? And it comes with it's loaded with one with a purple dot at the bottom and then this one which has green paint that you probably can't see at all on the little screw. I did some reading up because I didn't know if this was the problem and it turns out it was too. So the one with the green on the screw you are not supposed to adjust at all. So you're not supposed to adjust the tension. You're not supposed to change that screw. The other one, the one with the purple dot at the bottom, is the one that you're meant to adjust. So I learned something new today. That's what it is. So we did adjust it. Just a quarter turn is, is generally what you're supposed to do. And uh, so we put it back. Um, and right now I have the purple one in because I want to see how it's going to do. So just keep that in mind. One, don't adjust. One, adjust. So there you go. There's the, there it is there, the green. I was showing you the wrong one. The green dot there. So um, that's something I learned today. Uh, the, all right, back to the desk, Don. The other machine that I had has a um, sewing case and an embroidery case. Now, both of those cases are for embroidery uh, as well as sewing. So they've kind of changed that a little bit. And um, that's how you do it. So don't adjust one, adjust the other. So I really like these cute little bunnies. I really like it. I was going to make a little FSL, little itty bitty basket for these guys, but I didn't have time. And I thought this was way better, way better. Are you going to make a bunch for Easter dinner? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. So WSS, 4x4 four four hoop, don't... Uh, take like a huge hoop and load them up with that because you'll get shifting and stuff won't close up. They take six minutes each side. So I have the back of the bunny and then I have the front of the bunny. And I just thought this was really cute to do. So we're gonna we're gonna make one of these dudes. Um, also, you could look, he just sits up kind of nicely. So if you wanted to do that, I like Eileen Roche's idea. She put a pin and had it sitting on a chocolate, but I think this is much better. I think this rocks, especially on a pen. Whoops, put it on the side I'm not gonna use. I am gonna put that on my favorite metallic pen 
to play with. So, are we ready to get started? Oh yeah, by the way, seeing how it's just stitching, while it is stitching, I am going to show you guys some cool stuff, fabric kind of stuff. So let's go to the machine, Don. Um, so, okay, bobbin, wound bobbin with the um, proper, proper, whoops, just getting out of that. I was looking stuff up. The manual is built in so you don't have to go anywhere. And that's what I did. I did a search for bobbin case and read all about it. So, yes, and I'm using the proper bobbins. So I had to dig out my four by four hoop because I've never used it. This will be the second time I've used it. So uh, no googly eyes, there's no real room for it. And plus I probably won't use it again. So, you know, whatever. Uh, metallic, pink metallic thread. So I think it's more of a rose gold. It's a deep one. So I sent my designs to the machine so let's find them. Now I have a lot of designs going on. So here's the back bunny and we're going to click on set. And then I'm going to click right here, right below everything and add. And I'm going to search a second for the other bunny. You can see all the stuff I've been doing. I must delete it. It's starting to get full. Bunny, where are you bunny? Come on, there he is. And so we're just gonna set it like that. Now we have two of them. And so I'm just gonna move them over and line them up. They don't have to be perfect because they're just gonna stitch. And then I'm gonna go into embroidery mode. Now before I get started, I wanna show you guys, it goes pink, white, pink, white, black. Um, and I really don't want to change colors because you know, so let's go right here and this is color sort. Seriously, just push the button like that and boom. Can you see that? Yeah, pink, pink, white, white, white. white. Yeah. So it eliminates your color changes. Now, of course, the, it's not perfect the way it does it. You can move stuff around, but you have to make sure that uh, it's in the right order because it wouldn't do any good if it did the satin stitches and the mesh over top, right? We don't want that. So use it, but kind of make sure that everything is in the right order. Uh, super cool button. Um, McDreamy didn't have that and I am super happy to have it. So when you're doing the applique in my design center, you can have everything organized. Love it. Love it. So WSS metallic thread on top, metallic thread on bottom. And if you think I'm crazy using metallic thread on both, I'm not. It'll work just dandy. So let's get started. <coughs> Okay, it squeaked a little bit, Don, but beautiful. So it's gonna do the mesh. It's gonna do all the pink on both of them. In the meantime, we are going to just go to the desk. I'm gonna move one camera a bit so we can get a really, really good view. And it'll just take me a second, I guess, to set it up, Don. Oh, okay, I have my view up just while you're watching it stitch. This should be uh, pretty cool. So that's fine. And right down, just like that. What do you think, Don? Okay, so we're stitching and we're talking. So, oh, let's see here, guys. <laughs> Missouri Star had a sale on uh, layer cakes and stuff. Uh, it was just like a one day kind of flash sale and I'm all over that. It was 50% off. So I picked what was there. So what needle are you using? 7511, good answer. I never change it. So 
here's the first one. Hopefully we can get rid of that glare. I can see it. There. Well, that's a pretty darn good view, don't you think, Don? I, I think that's fantastic. So look at the fabric in here. I'm loving the stripes. So all, all autumn kind of colors that go in some patterns. I really like this one. Um, it's awesome. Free design. Oh, I should have said that. Thank you, Judy Quilt. And Judy Quilt, even though she's sitting in an airport, managed to put up the link. The bunny is a free design from uh, Designs of Machine Embroidery, Eileen Roche. And if you look at the cover photo, she folded a napkin and put the little bunnies in it. It's a cute idea. So are you not going to show the stitching too? Oh, is it in the corner? Oh, it is. Yay. Okay, that's awesome. Maybe zoom in a little bit. So this is my first one, and it's called Bountiful Autumn, and I really like it. So then this one is called uh, Adele in Autumn, and it's pretty cool. It looks a bit darker than it is, but that's okay. Look at these colors. I'm, are you fiddling with color, Don? Yeah. Oh, can, can I see? please there okay well now you can now you can okay so look at this fabric I love this isn't that cool oh it's underneath there we go I love it can you guys see it well enough yes isn't that awesome so all autumn colors again I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Isn't that fantastic? So that is another layer cake I am certain I'm going to get a lot of use from. Isn't that beautiful? So again, this is what the front of it looks like. I even love the first one. I'm not usually too big on flowers and stuff like that, but it's awesome. So now we're going to get a little brighter. So this is Full Bloom um, from Benartex, Benartex, uh, and I love the front. So let's see what's in it. Lovely. We're going to get more than one piece in each. So big flowers, small flowers. I love the purple and turquoise. I have seen this print before in another one, and I used it all the time. I absolutely love it. And we have the three, four different colors. A nice bright turquoise, which is the background of this one. Flowers and more flowers. So what a lovely, absolutely lovely um, um, layer cake. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. So 42 10 by 10 pieces. So full bloom contempo. Isn't that gorgeous? And the colors are stunning. Oh, so, you ready for this, guys? Sunflowers. I mean, wow. They're big. They're beautiful. And there's a lot in it. So let's see. Good view. Okay. So butterflies, which I thought was a gorgeous addition to the sunflower prints. And I love the yellow and the blue. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So lots of sunflowers. I have a lot of fun with that. Yes, these are from Missouri Star. Uh, this is called Sunflower Sunrise. And it's really nice. They had a flash sale going on, so I just picked them up. So um, keep an eye out on them is all. Okay, you ready for this? There we go. Lynn, you're going to love this. There, that's much better, Don. Thank you. Lynn, you're going to love this for sure. Look at these colors. So swirlies. A lot of pinks in there. A lot of pinks in there. Uh, big flowers, more swirlies. I love the blue. 
and raindrops. I thought that was really cute. These look like Easter eggs. But the colors are fantastic. I think you guys are getting just about the right colors on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's as close as I can go. Isn't that something? So I'm gonna I no, it's okay. I am gonna have fun with that. The first piece says it all. I love all the colors in it. So yeah. For the shadow things, yeah. I don't know if it's quite busy enough, but I do have fabric I can use. So this one is Island Batik, and it is pretty cool setup. Again, on sale from Missouri Star. Uh, I've seen this one. I've used this fabric, which is kind of cool to have more of it. Aren't these beautiful from dark back to dark, but all the colors in between? And I, I really do love the layout of it. I am going to hate ironing everything, but I love it. It's so beautiful. So, sorry I just fainted. I love the colors. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful, happy colors. I love it. All of them. So, this is the last one, sadly enough. And it is called B Cross Stitch by Lori Hart of Be In My Bonnet. It's Riley Blake. So the first one, I love it. And I looked through and I'm like, wow, this is kind of neat. So different, let's see, get this right. Get rid of that glare. Nah, having a hard time. So all the colors and they just have a little X in them. So that's every color of the rainbow, including some white with light colors at the bottom. They may be a little hard to see. I actually just noticed them. But isn't that awesome? I thought, yeah, I don't know why it's B. There's no Bs on it, but uh, it's all the same print with a ton of colors. So I'm like, thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. So then, because they were also on sale, I got the charm squares for each of them. So, beautiful. So if I only need a small piece, there we go. Lynn's favorite right here. I love it. I love this one. Isn't that cool? So same as the big ones, just smaller. And this one is called Classic Scrolls and Blenders. And that is always handy. I wish they had a bigger one of it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the scrolls and stuff on it. But how cute is that? Um, 42 pieces again. And I just thought mug rug quilting. Perfect. Perfect. And this one I got for free. I had purchased the, the Kona charm squares before. And they're all solid colors, but there's so many colors in it that it is super handy. I would actually like a layer cake of this one. I didn't, I didn't look, um, but yeah, all the colors you can think. And I used it for a mug rug and I matched up everything. Isn't that beautiful? So that is gonna be super handy again. I wish I had it in 10 squares, or you know it would even be better, fat quarters. Fat quarters. So yeah, I'm a sucker for a sale. Um, I, I kind of showed it to Don and he's like, you're gonna buy them all, right? And I'm like, woohoo, 50% off. Even with the exchange rate and the shipping, it's still cheaper than what you can buy here. So I'm going to have fun with these. I love, this is what I usually do if I can. I can't always do it, but I love to get the charm squares that match. So in a perfect world, I would have charm squares, layer cakes, and either fat quarter or half half yard bundles and then you have just about everything solid colors for sue yeah i know it's cool and it was free because i spent money 
so it's awesome. They had some great deals going on, so I also got a Missouri Star wooden spoon, which I'm not exactly sure what to do with it, but I love the printing on it. I think maybe it's for Smack and Don when he goes to steal my thread and doesn't put it back. <laughs> it, it could just be a threat, but I'm... Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can hear my drawers opening, and I'm like, hey, what are you doing? So, uh, on which site can we purchase these fabrics? Just got back. It is uh, from Missouri Star. That's where I got everything from. And it was a sale. Not sure if you can get them on sale, but I gave you all the names. They're just super fun. We're going to have fun with it. So I'm going to just leave this in my OML Embroidery Gang cup and we can just kind of giggle at that for sure. So there we go. So that's my fabric haul. Hey, how about that? Perfect timing. Look at the bunnies. Can we go to the machine? Look at my sparkly bunnies. I'm so excited. Now, we are going to do a thread change. I am going to leave the bobbin the same color. I'm not going to change the bobbin because we are sewing them together. So you don't need to change anything. Like, you won't see it. Where? Do, oh, there. I actually put it back. I was looking for just white because... Uh, we're going to do the cotton tail, and it's going to look great. Right. And then we're going to sew them together. So that was 12 minutes, by the way. Nice and quick. Yeah, there's six minutes each, and we have like a minute left. So it's going to do the tail and the ears in white. And then we are going to switch everything over. And I don't know how well I can do it with the cameras in my way, but maybe we'll swing the second camera around and do it that way, because that might be a whole lot better. I don't know how that view is done, but it might be okay. Can you see the sparkle in the bunnies? The face cam. Is that the face cam? No, you want, I can pull that one off. Yeah, I just want to see. Oh, that's kind of weird. That's kind of a weird view, but I don't know if you can fix it or not. Yeah, I can. The bunnies look fantastic. Loving the sparkle. For sure. So, one more little thread change. I kind of thought about doing his eyes in blue, but I just left it in black. Um, you could also do all of them in just one color. There's a setting for that too, but I'm going to put the black in. There we go. So let me know what you guys think of all the layer cakes and stuff I got because I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Bright fabrics. We're going to think fabric bowls. We're going to think... What else are we going to think? Uh, mug rugs, of course. And there we go. So now we're going to do the eyes. And then we're just going to be done. I think that'll be fine, Don. Kind of a weird view, but... Jill Scarsberg, thank you very much. I'm going to send you an email, Jill, so you can start testing uh, some lace. Happy music. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take this out. And I still have a ton left. Let's go back to the desk. Don. All right. Move my cute little hoop. Now, when I sewed this together before I left the um, water soluble stabilizer in uh, because I found it easier to do. And there's another reason. So, okay, I am just going to do it like this. So I just trimmed it out. Isabel, thank you. So we have a front and a back. Look how beautiful even the back is. 
Isn't that nice? And you can tell it's metallic red. Yay. You can tell. Yeah, it shows well shiny, enough. Yeah. They're so tiny. So make sure you have the right sides up, which would be like this. And because it's water soluble stabilizer, you can just wet it ever so slightly and it'll stick together. Now, I'm just going to carefully trim out one side. Um, I found it, uh, or sorry, I think it's better to do it this way so it keeps the shape. Now, these don't have to be sewn together perfectly. There is a lot of margin for error, which is fine. And there we go. So I just, so you guys can see, you don't need to trim it this close. So again, we'll orient our bunny. So if you wet it just ever slightly, you know that the water soluble stabilizer gets sticky and that's gonna hold everything together, which is cool. But I am going to, sorry, had to turn around. I am going to just use a, a pin. It didn't work quite as well, but I didn't bring any water down and I really don't wanna spit on my bunny. <laughs> ha, ha. So we'll do it this way. Now again, it doesn't have to be perfect and it is a little bit fiddly, but I think if you line these guys up and did a whole bunch of them that you would get pretty darn good at it. So I like to see where my edges are. So I think I have it pretty close. Um, and I want to show you guys, uh, can we do close up on the face cam? There we go. Okay. I'll move it a bit farther away. So there we go on our close up. And if you look on the back, I don't know how well you guys can see it. But right here, I did just a straight stitch and it shows too much for my liking. The rest of it, I did a zigzag stitch, believe it or not. And you really can't see it at all in any way, shape or form. Uh, so I thought that was a much better solution. So we are going to use a zigzag stitch. Now, um, can you pull back the camera, Don? What we're going to do, we're going to, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, we are going to take it out of embroidery mode and delete what we got going on and delete that one too. I probably don't have to, but um, we are going to go home. So I'm pressing the home button and we're going to go to sewing. And that moves my arm out of the way, which is fine. I'm going to get my little tool thing because we have to take off the embroidery foot. So using my brother tool and it's a quick change. It's easy enough. So put that away where it belongs for sure. And then I have, I think it's my J foot, which is easy so I can do zigzag. Make sure you pick the right foot, because if you pick a foot that just has a single hole through it, you will break your needle if you try to do a zigzag. So make sure you get the right one. So, okay, ready to rock and roll. Uh, no problem with the Kingstar Metallic, not at all. There never is. It's stitched beautifully, and you know what? I think silver and I think gold would look amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna load up my pink uh, because we wanna use the same color thread that we stitched with so you can't see anything. Ha! And it's a little fiddly and I really did stop a few times and you really can't see it. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, when you start off, we have to leave an opening. So I just kind of started here and worked my way around. I do think though that I will trim it a little bit closer. So hopefully I don't make 
mistakes. I still might, but you know, just make it easier. Maybe at the bottom, I don't need to trim it. So yeah, you can just kind of uh, wet the water soluble stabilizer and then, um, then we can stitch. So I'm just gonna put it under, put the foot down. Now, can you change cameras so I can move this one out of the way? Yeah. Wait. No. Oh. Change cameras. I got all the guts desk cam. Oh, I can go to that one, all right. Yeah. There we go. <coughs> so, yeah, that's just a kind of a sideways view, but it's so I can <coughs> move the other camera out of the way, which I just did. So I'm going to pick just a plain zigzag stitch. And I didn't actually change anything on it. So the other thing I need, which I just remembered, is the presser foot. Any idea where it is? Done? Yep, it's right here. Sorry about that. I forgot. It's pretty hard to, you know, go without it. So yeah, you might need that. I might need it. it. You can, I think, press go and it'll go, but... We'll do it the old fashioned way, manually. Okay, so I have it kind of lined up. It is gonna move. So I'm just gonna hold it as best as I can. And I'm just gonna do zigzag stitch with the same colors. See how easy that is? And just stitch it. Like you don't have to worry about anything. This is where I got a little bit lost. So I just moved it. Easy. Now I just did it to there and uh, then cut. Sorry, my hand right in the way there. And I'm a little bit off, but I don't think we're gonna notice too much. It might just make it easier. And uh, look, you can't even see where I did it. Now, I am way off on that one. It moved. But that's okay. We'll line up the other side. People aren't really going to notice quite as much as you think they will. But, I mean, you'll get better at it. For sure. And I'm going to start at the top again. And put my foot down. And just maybe kind of do it better this time but it didn't take very long now did it no. at all and you don't have to get in there and do between the ears it's so tiny okay so leave an opening Karina says, don't forget backstitch uh, I know I know I did <laughs> I totally did I could have done it right there didn't. Didn't. <laughs> and so look, now I know my bunny's off a little bit, but he's a big bunny, we can say. He's a really big bunny. <laughs> you won't really notice it much. You I mean, won't you notice it. That close up you yeah. do, but. but you can see I'm quite a bit off. I think it would be better to trim this down, even put a little bit of water on it. And again, like I said, stick them together. We're going to rinse all this out. Now, other than a few uh, trims here, but even though the ears are off you can't see what i just did it's, it's pretty well hidden it's really hidden so if you don't like it you can uh go back and line them up or situate them a little bit better i really think trimming them right down will make a difference because then you can see if you're off it or not uh so i will do that for the next one uh, but front of the bunny, back of the bunny, and now all you have to do is rinse it out. So let's go back to the desk and we'll put our bunny on there. Oh yeah, great. It's kind of a sideways view, but a great view. You can see the color and the sparkle and quite clear. So we're back at the desk and obviously I'm going to trim this off the sorry soak this off but look at my guy my, my 
cute little and bunny guy. FSL bunny topper. Yeah, just That's rinse awesome. out the... I should have brought a bowl of water down or something. But, I was thinking about that beforehand, but I forgot. Yeah, I forgot, too. You know, um, I use a small spray bottle with water and dab with a paper towel. Um, yeah. That's, I just didn't bring any water down. That would be perfect. And then you could stick them together and you're going to rinse it out after. But if you're aiming for perfection, that will absolutely do it. Um, like I said, I just didn't have any down here. And I really wasn't going to put saliva on my bunny because, ew. And nobody needs to see that. So how fun is that? I really like how this turned out. I'm going to rinse them out and I'll take some cute pictures and you guys can see where I'm off. And you can also see, even now, you can also see it doesn't matter. This side was the side that was off and it doesn't matter. It's not going to show. So cute little guys, six minutes on WSS. Don't put too many um, in a hoop. Use your 4x4 four four hoop, even if you have to dig it out. You can merge three, either in your software or on the machine. You can merge three of them. And I like this. I really like this. Eileen Rose shows you how, in the instructions, how to fold a napkin to make a basket. She also put a pin through, and the sharp part, she stabbed it into a Hershey's Kiss. So that's a couple of really good ideas. So how much fun is this? How much fun is this? I love it. I love it. So easy opening, easy to do the cutest little bunnies I've ever seen. This is my favorite idea. I think Dawn is probably going to steal one of these. And it's, uh, you know, 12 minutes plus sewing. Friggin' great. So cute bunnies. I love it. I can't wait to wash it out so we can see the bling of the metallic. Don't be afraid of using metallic. This is perfect uh, for metallic. And look at these little guys. Look at these little guys, Don. They're cute. They're so cute. They're, They're so perfect. And they stay kind of open. So and you did one metallic. I think that's awesome. Oh, I love metallic. Um, so I'm going to wash them out, and I'm going to let them dry like this. So then they'll have a nice shape on them. So little itty-bitty peeps, so lacy peeps, you guys have fun. Uh, experiments with threads and different things. I'm going to make a few more of them so each of the family members have a bunny for sure. Lynn, you get stitching. You can do this, girl. I'll help you sew them if you want. Or just glue them. Just glue partway around the outside. What the heck? Why not? That's easy enough, too. So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will get stitching these super cute bunnies and use them for your table setting. I love it. Don't get stressed out about the sewing. As long as you have matching thread, it doesn't matter. It seriously doesn't matter if you're off. Use a zigzag stitch, 7511 needle, and you have to change your bobbin to match. So... I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.